Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away uh, to the spread. All right, so uh, <clears throat> the first card which represents uh, the topic for Libra, that will be uh, the Page of Wands, followed by the second card that stands for the challenges that Libra needs to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. Third card here sitting for the positive aspect of the week itself, that will be the Ace of Pentacles. And the last one uh, that we do have, that will be the Guidance, which is the Four of Cups. So once again, um, Page of Wands stands as, as the topic, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, which represents the challenge. Furthermore, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, which stands for the um, guidance. And lastly, we do have the Four of Cups. Uh, uh, Ace of Pentacles stands for the positive aspect, excuse, excuse me. And afterwards, we do have the Four of Cups, which stands as the guidance. So, Liberus, it does look like that this week you are to have a person coming in your life, right? And uh, to me, uh, that looks like a, uh, a, a romantic potential, simply. Our, I, I didn't express myself correctly. It looks like an empathizement, which can end up as a romantic potential, right? So... The first card, which represents the very topic of your week, that will be the Page of Wands, and that is the person I'm talking about, and a very energetic one, that is, and a person who is open for everything new. So they could look a little bit more immature in your eyes, and that will be one of the reasons, as we can see further, uh, further into the spread, that you will have serious doubts that something can come up out of, um, of this interaction with the page of wands. Now you need to know that uh, should you allow that person to take a part of your life, like for example, go out with them on a date or just to hang out, you know, just allow them, you know, to be a part of your daily routine. Now you will see how this person makes your daily routine much more cheerful and as well how they change it. Either all of a sudden, slowly progressing, they will change your boring daily routine. Now, uh, one thing I want to warn you about the Page of Wands, they look strangely detached. It's like nothing can really hurt them, right? And uh, that could create a wrong impression, as I said in you, that they are rather immature people. But in reality, deep down within themselves, they are very, very fragile. So when you start dealing with this person, either that could be, you know, your next suitor or a, a business partner, let's say, or, or a co-worker, you mind your words because your words can hurt them very, very deeply. The accompanied card here, that will be the page of uh, pentacles. And the formation, it is a active neutrals. So it doesn't look like what this person is doing or you will be rather baffled about their 
intentions, at least at the start, all right? I mean, they, they want your attention, they want, uh, they want to impress you, but toward what end? It's not clear yet. Maybe they don't know as well. Maybe that page of wands doesn't know either, all right? They just have that under, they just like you, but they are not sure, can this be a romantic thing? Or can this be a, a good friendship, you know? Or can this be a successful partnership? They just don't know yet. And that's why, you know, they're just trying the soil, how fruitful the soil with that cooperation is going to be uh, in between you and them. Which comes to the next card, that will be uh, the challenge itself that you will have to overcome here. We do have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles, it is about catching up one's breath and um, how can I describe it? Um, analyzing is what you are to invest into that thing really worth it, right? That is in the grand scheme of things. But uh, in your case, uh, Libras, I do believe that this is the sign you're waiting for. So you are to have an option to interact with this person who doesn't seem very mature and you may wait for the sign that will prove you wrong, all right? That will prove you wrong as that this person is quite mature and they know what they are uh, looking for. That will not come around this week. So that will be the challenge for you to overcome, to just let yourself go with the current, all right? So if you like the company of the Page of Wands, go, go along with it. Do not try to restrict yourself or to restrain yourself from this uh, empathizement. The accompanied card here, that will be the Four of Pentacles. And that is just a, a confirmation here. Formation it is a, a passive supporters. And it looks like that you, above everything else, the problem for you is going to be that there is no secure future with that, with that guy or with that girl, right? What they are offering to you at this current stage, it's simply not enough. But they can offer much more, right? They can. It's just you need to give them a chance. It is what the cards point. So yeah, the challenge here is for you to believe that there is a, a bigger future for you both, either in the business field or either in the relationship field, that is. <clears throat> so uh, that's, that leads us to the next card, guys, which is the uh, positive aspect of this cooperation of the week. So we do have the Page of Pentacles. Now, it does depend where that person infiltrates your life, either career or relationship-wise. But the, the Page of Pentacles points that as this person comes around, you will have your rare opportunity to further your goal. So your goal is to be with someone. Well, there you go. You have the rare opportunity to be with someone, all right? You will have your goal to be successful into your business. This person comes around. Maybe uh, they could come around as a romantic enterprise, you know, but they may have the funds to subsidize or to supplement your business, all right? So there you go. There, This is your rare opportunity to further your goal. Spending time with this person, according to the Ace of Pentacles, uh, is going to award you with um, a huge amount of content, happiness, and as well, um, uh, for some of you, is going to be as well an ecstasy, all right? It's kind of like, you, you will not imagine how good you are going to feel when you spend time with the Page of Wands. But in either way, you know, if it regards to your business, then the page of then the Ace of Pentacles points that you will have a success into your business. If we're talking about relationship, this card marks a the start of a reliable and harmoniously flowing relationship. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Wands. So what we do have it is a active, uh, it is a passive neutrals. Excuse me. So uh, the true nature of the Page of Wands here is yet to be revealed, all right? And that's why you will have to um, approach the whole situation in between you and this person a little bit more cheerful and carefree as well and just enjoy life, all right? This is what, what it is asked from you. If that person asks you out on a beverage, just go there and enjoy your beverage. Uh, if they asks you out on a dance, uh, just go there and enjoy your dance and so on and so forth. And you will see how um, you become quite attractive, uh, attracted to that guy or a girl. They become attracted to you and boom, you know, something happens out of it. Which leads us to the next card, guys, the, the very last one, the uh, guidance here. And that is the Four of Cups. And this card screams only one thing. Do not miss this opportunity. It is given to you, you know. 
do not allow the uh, poignancy of your past to blindfold you and to um, make you predispondent to lose um, the opportunity presented to you. Uh, it is manifested through the page of wands, either a guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. Because what you are sitting on right now, it's at its end. You cannot benefit much more from it. And you need something new. Well, you have it. Do not miss it. It is what the, the Four of Cups here asks you. Then we do have the Sun card as a uh, catalyst here. Formation, it is a uh, passive enemies that we do have and uh, it just uh, strengthens the theory I had at the start that you may uh, find it a bit a very a very difficult to believe you know that that is exactly your ship that is coming in that is exactly what you needed and uh, you are to jump into it with a bit of a um, how can I place it skepticism right but as these couple of cards comes around as a uh, passive uh, enemies you will have to or it is advisable for you Libras to allow your temper and passion to further combust the uh, the fires that are starting to uh, form in between you two. Just do not tr do not transform that into conflagration. All right, it's because at that point you may burn yourself out. So yeah, I mean um, with these couple of cards. Uh, you shouldn't uh, kind of strain from a confrontation, you know, and uh, experiencing a, a pleasant enterprises with this uh, with this person. But in the same time, do not push it very far, because at that point, if you think that you are the only one who has a tempo, well, man, just wait to see what the page has to offer in this field. So that being said, Libras, this was your weekly tarot reading for a... Um, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.